Let's talk about what is a function. But before we talk about that, let's start to talk about some of the terminology that you will see always associated with functions. The first one is a relationship. So when we talk about relations, what they're really talking about is really just a set of ordered pairs. Now, we know that when we have ordered pairs, such as this, this is a set of ordered pairs. Now, to talk about the first ordered pair, which is here, we call that the domain. So, basically, what the domain is, is just the first item of a pair. And when we talk about the range, then we're just talking about basically the second item of a pair. So it looks like this is the domain and this is the range and this is correct. So the first one's the domain and the second one's the range. So then what then after having this, what then makes it a function? Well what makes it a function is this. A function is a ordered pair in which no, there are no repeating okay, first coordinate. Which looks like, since we said the first coordinate of the first item is domain, which basically means no repeating domain. Okay, so now let's look at a few examples where there are no repeating domains, or let's determine if it is a function. So the first set that we're going to talk about is I'm going to give you a set, and here we have this. Now, the first thing I want to do is to talk about which one of these are the domains in each one of the sets. Well, the domain here would be the 1, the 2, the 3, and the 4. And the range would be the second. <coughs> so the range looks like it's going to be a 1, a 4, a 9, and a 19. Now, is this a function? Yes, it is, because notice there are no repeating what? Domains. So this is a function. Now, another example of a function would be something like this. And let's determine if it is a function. So here we have another set. Okay. Now, let's look at domains. We said the domain is the first. So I have a 1, a 12, a 3, and a 1. For my range, it's going to be the second. So it looks like it's going to be a 5, an 18, a 5, and a 12. Now, do we have a function? Remember what a function is. A function means we're going to look at the domain and do we have any repeating domains? Well, yes, we do. One and a one. So this is not a function. Why? Because we have what? A repeating domain. Now, does it make any difference if the range repeats? No, it doesn't. Here we have a five and a five, but that has nothing to do with a function. The thing that cannot repeat would be the domains only. Now, <clears throat> When we're looking at something like this, and we're trying to determine if it is or is not a, a function, there's also something called the vertical line test. And basically, the vertical line test would be if I had a figure like this, such as a straight line that we have here. If I did the vertical line test, basically it's saying I can draw a vertical line and only touch it at one point. And notice, no matter where I go on my straight line, 
I will only touch it at one point. So it looks like this straight line is going to be a function. And whenever we have a straight line, we end up with the equation y is equal to x. The first and the second, the, the y and the x are both to the first power. Now another function could be this which is the called a parabola. And the equation for that is always y is equal to x squared, where x is to the second power. But notice, when I do the vertical line test, I will only touch this particular parabola when it's going in this position only at one place. So therefore, it is also a function. Then we have another shape, which is the absolute value shape. Here, this is going to be a V. Notice here, when we do that, whenever I do the vertical line test, notice once again, I'm only hitting it at one place, so therefore this is also a function. Now let's look at a figure that would not be a function. Well, suppose I happen to have, this time my parabola is going in this way. No, this would not be a function. Why? Because when I draw the line, it runs into it here and here. So when it runs into it at more than one place, this is not a function. Uh, one more. Suppose I had something that looked like this. Well, looks like I ran into it here, here, and here. So I ran into it doing my vertical line test at more than one spot. So therefore, this is also not a function. So it sort of gives you an overview over how to find a domain and how to find a range, and also by using the vertical line test. When you look at the next video, there will go into more figures showing you how to find the domain and the range.